Okay, you can even import and export them using the correct data file. So if we have an SMDB file, which you should be able to export with this, then you'll be able to import universes as well. So uh, you can even share a pre-set up universe if you need to using this system, which is quite useful. So back we go. So uh, like I say, using the world manager, you can change what your default world is going to be just by creating and setting the default. So that's that. Now then, tools. We have here a couple of things. Star Calc will actually help you to calculate the abilities and uh, power drain of your weapon systems. Okay, it's quite a little bit of maths involved, but it's possible to calculate what the effect is going to do when you put the modifier on. You can get the details from the configs, which we'll go over in a future tutorial. Should be an annotation there once I actually get the video done. So going back to uh, the tools, we've got the ship catalog manager. Of course, you can select a ship, export it, or import a ship, and then find them so you can download them and then uh, import ships into your database. There will be another tutorial on this exact, so we're going to do the catalog manager in depth soon. Uh, going back, we've got under tools, you can reset all your worlds, uh, migrate, your migrate your database if it was an old version. Um, I never really looked in the index before, but there's also the Starmote remote tool, which is for remote administration of a dedicated server, and clear client cache, which is often quite important, especially if you're going on to a multiplayer server which is updated, and uh, you might have some old data hanging about in your uh, temporary folders. So that's separate from your actual install, just bear that in, note, in, my, in mind. Okay, um, after there we've got modding, so the block editor allows you to actually create new blocks, okay, and we should be having some tutorials on that very soon, so it's uh, pretty straightforward actually, there's a GUI, uh, newly created blocks tend to go in the decoration, okay. And then finally, you've got Create Custom Skin and Load Custom Skin. Create Custom Skin basically enables you to uh, put the four JPEGs together or pings or whatever, you know, the images files, uh, and then you can make yourself a skin file which you can load into game. If you've already got the skin, you just click Load Skin and then browse for the package file. So skinning's quite easy like that as well. That covers everything in the uh, connection setup. So uh, from here, you would just select your multiplayer server and uh, jump on into the game or go into single player so uh, thanks for watching the uh, tutorial um, like I say there's going to be further tutorials if you want me to do anything in depth hit the comments and uh, please like and share this video like I say it should be able to help some people so uh, like, uh, there's some more links for more tutorials guys thanks for watching and